This video is sponsored by Element. Today is April 15th, 2023, and I've been taking urolithin A every day for 30 days, and today I wanna to share with you my results. I got very excited about urolithin A when I heard Dr. Mark Hyman talking about it in an interview with Lewis House. And, and in, in studies, they found that without exercise, it increases fitness level through VO2 max, increases muscle strength, and increases uh, mitochondrial wow. uh, cleanup or a mitochondrial autophagy. Without exercise. Without exercise, and also increases uh, mitochondrial renewal and, re and biogenesis to make new mitochondria. So I decided I wanted to try it. To start this off, let's go back in time. But before we do, remember to subscribe so when we go forward in time, you'll be able to see all my upcoming videos. So today is Thursday, March 16th, 2023, and my VO2 max is 45. My average resting heart rate is 50 beats per minute, and the most weight that I can do on the bench press for 10 repetitions is 135. So today marks the first day that I begin my 30-day uh, test of urolithin A. What am I gonna be doing is measuring these things that I just talked about, and I know this isn't very scientific. I'll leave that to the researchers, the PhDs, and the millions of dollars that are going into studying urolithin A. Oh, the pills are like a neon yellow. Get my water over here, and I'll go ahead and take these. Here we go. So I don't have a way of measuring mitophagy, so I decided to focus on measuring endurance and strength. Endurance measured by VO2 max and average resting heart rate, and strength measured by how much weight I could lift on the bench press for 10 repetitions. VO2 max is a measure of cardiovascular fitness. It basically measures how much oxygen or the maximum amount of oxygen your body can utilize while engaging in very intense exercise. Resting heart rate is also a good indicator of overall fitness and generally a lower resting heart rate is better. I chose bench press to measure strength because it's one of the three major lifts that are used in powerlifting competitions. It would probably be good to include the other two, the barbell squat and the deadlift, but I have lower back issues and so I have to be very, very careful with those lifts and for that reason I chose to exclude them. I also thought the bench press would be fun. So I chose 10 repetitions because it's generally safer than lower rep ranges, like say three to five. And I recognize that 135 pounds for 10 reps on the bench press is not very strong. But we're gonna see if I've been able to increase that over the last four weeks. So it's March 31st. It's exactly 15 days since I started taking urolithin A. I just got done with my workout at the gym. If I'm all sweaty, it's not because I'm such a great, uh, you know, working so hard in the gym, but uh, I uh, was just sitting in the sauna for like 20 minutes. So just a little bit of an update. Uh, today was a tough day. Um, it was a little bit of an off day. I still had a good workout. I still felt pretty good, but no real breakthroughs. The one thing I have noticed so far is that my resting heart rate is starting to trend down. It's starting to get a little bit lower, with that, which is kind of interesting. Speaking of saunas, when you go to the sauna, you sweat a lot and lose a lot of electrolytes, it's a good idea to consider replacing them. When you're low in electrolytes, it can cause headache, fatigue, dizziness, even vomiting. Your muscles don't work properly and your brain just doesn't function the way it's supposed to. I use a drink called Element. They're the sponsors of this video. It's the same one that Andrew Huberman uses and recommends. It has all the electrolytes that you need in ratios backed by science and no sugar. It's great if you're doing keto or low carb or if you're just trying to be healthy and trying to keep your blood sugars low. Right now, Element is giving my viewers a special offer. So if you wanna try it, go to drinkelement.com slash keto with JT and you can get a free sample pack along with any purchase. Now that sample pack is basically one of each of their flavors. So you can try them all and figure out which one you like the best. So I hope you enjoy it. And thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. Well, it is Friday, April 7th. It's just before seven o'clock in the morning. I just got done with another workout in the gym and I'm all sweaty again because I just uh, spent some time. I finished up my workout with sitting in the sauna for about 15 to 20 minutes, usually 20 minutes, but uh, someone was covering up the thermostat today. So it was a lot, it was a lot warmer in there. <laughs> and uh, I had a pretty good day. I, I made some improvements in a few areas and I uh, feel pretty good. It is, it is hard for me to say, you know, that it's definitely the urolithin A that's making a difference. 
I having you know something can, to compare it to and working out uh, pretty regularly I do feel like there's a little bit of an improvement I really still feel like it's a little early to tell that said I don't think I have anything really concrete really solid to that points specifically to oh it's the urolithin a that's why you're you know feeling feeling good and doing better um, all other than I'm taking it and I am noticing a difference. The one thing that I do see happening is that my resting heart rate is improving. It continues to to uh, go down, which is a good sign. Yeah, I have to say, I think that's probably one indicator that it is making a difference. So here we are back to the future. Of course, when you see this video, it will be in the past. But anyway, after 30 days of taking urolithin A, my VO2 max hasn't budged. It's still 45. My four week average resting heart rate has actually gone down from 50 to 49. So there's a slight improvement there. I've been able to increase my max weight on bench press for 10 repetitions from 135 to 145. So there's a pretty good increase there. So let's go back to Dr. Mark Hyman. In his book, he talks about urolithin A and references the same study he was talking about in his interview with Lewis Howe. The study showed that people that were taking urolithin A saw improvements in strength, endurance, and overall fitness, among other things, without doing any exercise. But I did learn that that study was conducted over four months, not four weeks or 30 days like I've done. So I'm not 100% sure that the urolithin A is making a difference or how much of these small improvements that I have made could be directly attributed to taking urolithin A. I don't know, but I do think it's helping. So am I gonna keep taking urolithin A? Yeah, I think I will. I think the research is very exciting and I feel like I'm just getting started. I'd love to see what kind of results I might get over a longer period of time.